ちょっと話しようよ私のうちとか距離のつくか <laughs> she's hilarious though. <laughs> I can see that people she think she's the best girl, man. She's all ginky, she's all happy. What I like with Kana though is that she kind of shows that, you know, child acting isn't that easy, right? Like she's been doing all this mess. She's been through this like terrible life, or whatever, right? All these, oh, a bit bullying me and these things on. And she's here and she's kind of ginky. And please help me out with her, Is she Sundra? Because she's very angry, right? You see her like, oh, I hate that guy, I hate that guy. She's very ginky at the same time. But I wouldn't. The best word I come up is Sundra, because she's like angry against stuff, right? Uh, but also really happy, right? So she's kind of, yeah, I don't know what else, like super happy, kind of a little younger, I don't know, she's like happy and angry and sad at the same time. You know, she's got a roller coaster of emotions. And, uh, but you know, she's like a fighter, I like it, yeah, I like Kana, man. Oh, hello, it's time for Oshino Koi episode 3, you guys. Jesus Christ, this anime is amazing. Let's have to maybe tear up a bit, right? You know, with, with the new mom, yeah. Oh, you wanna be an idiot? You wanna be an idol girl, Ruby? Only if mom can be your idiot. <laughs> that was so good, and he's like, okay. I, I, you can be on you fine, but you have to sign paperwork with mom. Yeah, it's like I will be your agent, and then then we talk about either girl. Um, but yeah, I want to see what Kana can do now, right? Everyone keeps telling me that Kana is the ultimate best girl. So uh, see what's up with that, right? I'm guessing she's gonna be a uh, have a thing for Aqua, Aqua Marine. It seems kind of I mean obvious that she's like you know oh that guy was the guy that could beat me in you know art or artistic or whatever, right? So she probably likes him. Maybe Sundra. I felt she had like a Sundra vibe, but maybe not. Maybe she's more direct about it. I don't know. But it's pretty clear she's like Aqua. How it ended, right? Um, so certainly something like that. Uh, but anyway, here we go. Okay, this was the opening. Do 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 do. Yeah, PTSD opening. Yeah, it, the actual music song is way more. You know, yeah, I really yeah. From, the, uh, the the opening isn't as PTSD as the uh, music video. No, the music video is way more like broken heart and so on. Uh, this one shows both the cats, right? Like Aqua and Kanna and so on. And Ruby Shan, yeah, the new idol girl. Mm. Do, 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 What this character is then? Is that Aqua? I mean, it's like, yeah, it's like, there is like three idol girls. And I was like, is that cross-dressing Aqua? <laughs> I want Aqua to be the third idol girl. <laughs> in the, I guess Kanna is the other idol girl. I mean, if he's kind of, like, yeah, like Kanna definitely looks like she's part of Ruby's idol girl group, right? That, that looks definitely that. But the third person, could that be Aqua? Probably is another woman, but yeah. Dun -dun. And because his mom dancing and so on. I oh, that scene is great when like he breaks the, the screen, jumping up to mom, and then Ruby kind of gets mom's star, right? Yeah. So this Khan again and so on. Hmm. Of course, mommy. Yeah, so there are three idol girls, right? In the opening, yeah. Uh, probably Khan as the middle one, right? Very likely. Why she was the idol girl? Oh, she was an actress, a kid, but because here we go, yeah, they, yeah, they're both like that's is that the girl we met the kids? Yeah, they're both like what? I don't remember her. Ha! Huh? <laughs> I think she's an idiot. <laughs> I like it. They both like. Can we get rid of her somehow? Yeah, she's just some weirdo. Yeah, I don't talk to her. Man, poor Kana, man. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I hate one of you! Uh, oh, this poor girl, man, yeah. It's been mean to her immediately. <laughs> this probably gonna have some Sundra love for her because it's a mean to her! She's just like, Ugh! Oh, she's gonna follow him? Okay, yeah. She's so in love with him, man. She's gonna follow him around, right? Nay! That the one! Yeah, she's like, come on, man! I wanna talk to you! Yeah. Oh, God. She's adorable though, yeah. Oh, she's adorable. <laughs> Stop following me around. Poor girl, man. She's just like, come on, man. Okay, she looks so adorable now though. Car nice best girl, but yeah. <laughs> uh, she looks adorable. F following him around. <laughs> But the Aqua is so grooming, man. He's so, he's so, you know, he's so dark and depressed. She's like, oh, come on, man. I'm gonna talk to you. Yeah. And she's like, come on, man. <laughs> what is this? She's like, come on, you want some? She's like, come on, come on, come on. She's just like, yes, yes, he's my buddy. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> She's like, well, if I can't talk to you, but if I seduce you, yeah, it's like, okay. Oh, this poor girl. Yeah, he's just like, yeah, whatever. See, Aqua, it's, uh, he's too gloomy, man. Oh, back to the director, lives his mom. Yeah, of course he recognizes her. Yeah, and she's just like... <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Man, he's... Uh... My god, this anime is getting visually... I don't know if that's the only visual if she died here. Who knows this anime? But yeah. Gotta visit the director. Yeah, entertainment industry, you know, anime, man. I think he's like, he loves his mom, man, yeah. His mom will pull up here soon, here. Ooh. Oh, yeah. She's happy Aqua is still in the business, so to speak, I guess. Kinda, in the business, not really, but you know. But in her perspective, it doesn't think that Aqua probably is in the business, too. Here comes mom, of course. Here comes a weird mom, right? Oh, it's for sure, Grandma! <laughs> yeah, it's like a weird character, man, like... He leaves with his mom, even he's like, you know, I think somewhat successful director, at least to some extent, right? And, <laughs> yeah, and it's like, okay, okay, mom, yeah, it's like, oh, this is weird, man. Okay, yeah, he's like, oh, it's nice, you know, you and your mom, you're still friends. I guess he's just like, oh, it's nice, you know, you and your mother, still friends, eh? Yeah, that's great, yeah, she's just like, oh, that's awesome, yeah. Um, yeah, die show boo indeed. Yeah, she's kind of happy here. Yeah, she's very happy and, you know, very... I like how they both kind of annoyed at her because she's like, ginky. <laughs> she's like, oh, but this is fine. They're like, oh, talk just like that. Yeah, like, <laughs> don't tell her this is fine. It is not fine. Yeah, <laughs> like, what? Yeah, they're like, I don't know. She's just being nice to both of them and he's being rude to her. I'm just sorry for her. Uh, I just feel sorry for Kana, but I guess she's the chic of this anime, yeah, she's all happy and you know, like, hey guys, uh, this is awesome, yeah, it's like... Okay, here we go, she's gonna try to seduce him again. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah, she's going... <laughs> and of course she ignores her as always. Well, it's hard to, you know, get into Aqua, right? He's on, uh, what is he? What is he actually at age? When did he die? He was like 20 something when he died. He was pretty young when he died, right? Yeah, he wasn't like an old doctor. I mean, yeah. He, he wasn't like a 65 year old uh, sensei. He was like a 20 ish something, right? <laughs> but yeah, she's got him adorable, though. Yeah, Kana is uh, adorable, man. Come on, woman! <laughs> yeah. Come on! <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. The casting. She she's so happy. She's so she's so kawaii. Kanai's best girl, of course. Everyone and Kanai's the best girl. And he's just all like like I oh, don't talk to me, woman. <laughs> yeah, it's all me around. Yes. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. He must be thinking about me like that. It's like no, no, Kanai, no. Yes, yes, it's working! <laughs> it's like, uh, oh, this poor girl, man. I feel like I'm gonna feel pain for her. This is gonna be painful, right? Yeah. She's just gonna try to, like, either make him a star or be her boyfriend, or she's gonna keep trying to do something with Aqua all the time, but he's gonna be like, don't talk to me, lady. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, ignore her. He's just gonna try to ignore uh, all of her advances, both in a, you know, romantic, probably, and also in, like, I don't know, you know. Yeah. Entertainment way, I guess, you know? Entertainment industry way, right there. Yeah. It's like, leave me alone, yeah. Yeah, here we go. What? You're gonna be in a... Man, Ruby's kind of kawaii doing that, like her casual clothing. Mm, yeah. So mama would have wanted, I guess. Yeah, probably. That's probably what mama would have wanted. But yeah, but of course Aqua is like, no, I'm doing it, find dad, kill him! Yeah, of course she's like, I don't care about fame, 
I'm gonna kill a guy. Yeah. I mean, obviously he's the. I mean, we as the viewer, of course, know that he is not. He doesn't really care about the whole getting famous or any entertaining thing. He wants to, of course, get some uh, good old revenge, right? Yeah. He wants some revenge, like hardcore revenge, right? Oh, that's cute though. That's kind of like. Yeah, okay, like, what, net, I guess it's like a television show only, oh yeah, oh yeah, I guess it's like a Netflix thing, so like, yeah, yeah, okay, no, I get it, yeah, I guess she's like, her latest show is like, uh, you know, uh, a show, a TV show, but it's not, you know, yeah, like, uh, any kind of, uh, what's it, uh, I, I, I mean, there's a difference, I guess, right, by working on TV, you know what I mean, and or working on, you know, like a, yeah, a Netflix or Disney Plus show, right, actually it only goes on like a streaming service these days, right? So I guess Kana is like, her latest thing was like a streaming service uh, show, right? Oh, now I see Kana, of course, it's dark! It's dropping like, here we go. Of course Kana lives in some filth. She's probably beaten by her parents or something. Of course, of course she is, of course she is. Like, God damn it, this anime! Of course she's like, oh, wait, was that a movie? Oh, was this the movie? Okay, damn it. <laughs> see, I don't know! Wait, was that this movie? I thought it was either that was like a flashback or Kana being like, I don't know, orb. Oh no, it's actually a certain- I don't know, I'm confused. Was that her real self, or was that in the movie? Okay, no, it's kinda nice, her- Like a- I, I don't know, honestly. That, that seemed to me, could have been in any- I'm expecting someone to get murdered. <laughs> and they're both, it's like, oh, this is some stupid romance show, yeah, it's like... Let's just watch this. Yeah, it's low quality <laughs> TV show. Yeah, mom is like, no. <laughs> yeah. My kids are too young for this uh, filth, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it, yeah. She's close as the laptop. It's like, no, no, Ruby. This is too filthy for you, yeah. Yeah, it's a twins. There is a now it's a twin. I mean, it's a, it's a twins on the shirt, of course, yeah. And he's blue and he's red, right? Because it's like red orange, yeah. No, but I like how mom was like, no. <laughs> she's still, Do I want to see it, mom? But no. <laughs> uh, but that's good, man, yeah. That's good. Mom is protect her uh, poor innocent rubies, you know, for all the filth, you know, yeah. Can, of course, the. Here we go. I'm gonna meet Kana more now, probably. There's <laughs> a lot of Kana faces. Half the episode, I feel, is Kana doing weird faces, yeah. I feel like half the episode is Tana doing very strange faces, yeah. She's screaming at him and so on. Yeah, just half the episode. Straight up, right? Oh, yeah, of course. She's always like, oh my god, I wanna be like that, yeah. I also wanna be famous like them and so on. She spent her life, yeah, becoming an actor. I mean, kind of really, fe that was kind of really obvious though. Yeah, I don't know, that, that part of her life story is kind of like, you can guess that part of her life story, right? By... <laughs> she has a lot of anger issues. See, she isn't she Sundra to some extent? See, she's, uh, she's like, I hate those people, yeah. Isn't she to some extent, like I said, like, isn't she... I don't know if she's Sundra, but she's like, like, um... Leave a comment below, guys. What is she called? Like, she said Sundra, perhaps? Because Sundra is kind of like, you know, oh, I'm in love or something. But she's more like, you know, she's angry, you know what I mean? She's necessarily not Sundra as him, but I mean, she's just like, oh, I hate that bastard, right? Like, she's just angry, you know, and like, she's just like an angry person, right? And also Genki, right? She's a mixture of, like, really Genki, really like, yeah, let's do it! And I was like, I hate those people. So, she's like, I don't know if that's because, if I would call it Sundra, though. Because it's more like she's just like, yeah, she has a lot of anger issues more, right? you know what I mean? But I guess Sundra might be the best word. Oh, that's not a girl. Well, yeah. This anime is a lot about, like, entertainment industry being shit. Oh, yeah, that woman, her life was screwed over, like... Yeah, it's like... The whole anime feels like it's just, like, a massive critique on, like, not just idol shows, I guess, but... Or idol... Idols, but also, like, uh, you know, TV shows or whatever, right? Child actors and so on. Uh, that being said, I mean, because it's mostly in Hollywood, right? But, Jesus Christ, yeah. Like, basically, any child actor, right? You know, Maki Kalki and so on. Yeah, it feels like 9 out of 10 child actors in Hollywood are, like, are completely mind effed up, right? After they've been famous kids, right? Yeah, like, you know, you, you can basically, on your finger, count child actors in America that doesn't have mental issues. <laughs> like, it's not... You should laugh at it, but it's kind of hilarious and crazy how basically being a child actor is really terrible, right? Most of the time. Not for everyone, but for most of them. 
Mm. But yeah, I mean, she really loves what she does, though. So she's clearly really into it. Yeah, like she, she, I want to be an actor. I want to be famous, though. Yeah. Kana is all like, I'm a, yeah. <laughs> it's all like, it's half the episode is like Kana faces. <laughs> half the episode is Kana doing like, yeah, that's right, it's me. <laughs> the streamers on her face. It's like Kana faces, man. Definitely reminds me of, of course, I mean, you, you know, it's for say, well, of course, Kaguya Sama, right? And that's definitely pretty clear, I think, when you see this kind of thing with her, because she's the most, she definitely is the most Kaguya Sama character, because she definitely might be a Shika, not right? Uh, not the same personality, but similar to Shika, and especially these faces, like, you know, it's like, <laughs> you know, it's a lot of these, like, you know, yeah, like this weird, you know, Shika faces. She basically pops in in, like, those, those weird faces right every now and then, and if it's very Shika, right? Um, I would say she definitely the chic of this anime, uh, by far, and obviously Aqua is Shirugana though, he's like a man, yeah, he's like a, a cunning man. Uh, yeah, now she's kind of acting normal. Ooh, look at this, she's like, let's team up, Aqua-chan! See, I keep telling you, she says has a feeling for him, come on, obviously she's loving him, come on. And also in a way that she also likes him because she's like impressed by his, um, you know, how good he was as a kid, right? Which of course, because he was actually a grown-up man though. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, like, I mean, it's a mixture. I actually, last episode, I think her, I think she's a mixture of like, you know, admiration for him, right? Like he's actually a good actor as a kid, but obviously we really know why. Uh, he could act even if he's like, really young. And, uh, you know, she's like, oh, that, she kind of ad ad admire him for that. And then also it's a little bit like, you know, oh, she's also like... How's I it? Kind of yelling on him, right, as a kid? And that kind of gives me that Sundra vibe to it, right? But, yeah, she has a lot of, like, anger issues, right? Yen is speaking. Hmm. Go here, we're just gonna... Start doing this. Yeah, you're gonna keep the camera dry and so on. <laughs> it is somewhat educational, I mean, it's obvious, but yeah, like, you... She's like, oh, you need to take a quarter over there because yeah, it's raining and this camera can't stand in the rain and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, it can't get wet and so on. There's some educational stuff here, right? You know, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, we have to record in this angle and the camera should be over there because otherwise it gets what, what, and this thing and so on. Oh, is this character? Oh, yeah, this guy from the, yeah, the other actor, I guess. Does it feel he's going to be an important character? No, nah, I don't think so. He's probably like a, maybe a side character that appears. Could be an Aqua's, I guess, rival in the acting career. I don't know, yeah. This guy probably will reappear every now and then if he's like, but I'm probably not an important character. Nah. He doesn't feel important. Ah, oh, he ignores him. Ha <laughs> It's a diva! He's just like, don't talk to me, loser. <laughs> he's gonna walk past him. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't worry about him. He's a douchebag. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. See, this anime is all about, like, entertainment industry and everyone being douches. Yeah, he just, like, walks past him. It's just like, hello, nice to meet you. And it's like, F off. He <laughs> doesn't even want to, like, talk to him and look at him. He's like, he's gonna exist in his, uh, in his world, man. And he's just like, nope. Um, but like I said earlier, right, you know, unfortunately, this is kind of how weird it is, because basically everyone is a shy actor who has a freaking terrible life, man. Ah, oh, here's the... I saw earlier too. Yeah. And he's just like, yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> he was at least nice to you, or nice, but he was like, yeah, yeah, whatever, kid, you, know, you, you probably do it, yeah. <laughs> he was kind of like, ugh. But I guess that, okay. You see, like, could he be the killer? Uh, that's kind of how it feels, right? Yeah, like, now he's immediately like, oh, I see. This guy, he's in the industry. Did he kill my mom, right? That's kind of how it's, so, yeah, it's like, I need to get everyone's DNA. I need to get the guy's hair or something. Maybe he killed my mom, right? Because, uh, I mean, obviously, as he is half, you know, he, he's the son of the killer, right? Or, I mean, of the evil entertainment guy, right? So, yeah, of course, if he just gets... He's his own DNA to compare to that, you know? Yeah, and you can see if it's a... Uh, well... It could be someone else, I suppose. And if he's kinda clear, if he's kinda clear, it has to be the dad, right? Yeah... It would be... I, mean, I guess I guess Twist could be the isn't the father? Isn't the murderer? Or isn't behind it? But he has to have some... The father has to have some relation to it. The father has to have something to do with the murder. Or the whole thing, right? Well, it doesn't make much sense, though. But here we go. Now he's gonna act, uh, I guess... His first acting in a... 
yeah, in her like uh, what's called it like a Netflix show or something, yeah, streaming services show. Oh yeah, this is kind of how the ending is. Yeah, it has the same. Uh, is it's no voice line here? No, it's like a, you know, there's no it's music. <laughs> but yeah, he's you know acting as her one of her many boyfriends, I guess, or whatever. Yeah, and it's like, I guess the rain is coming through the ceiling and so on. I mean, they're recording it in some kind of half abandoned building, right? So, with all these holes in the wall and so on. Hmm. But it certainly feels like this is how Adam's gonna go, right? I mean, obviously, I'm Amy only, and it feels like it's gonna go this thing. Ruby's gonna become an idol girl, right? And uh, Aqua is gonna become more and more famous doing movies and well, the TV shows, an actor, I mean, again, speaking. And. As a way right, to try to, you know, get the DNA right for people he think might be his father, right? Because now he's just like, yeah, that guy could have been my dad. And and Tana probably wants to be his girlfriend, right? I keep saying, but... Now, she feels way too, like, into this thing. Like, she, oh, I will help you become an actor, like a famous again. But it also might be because she's like, you're a natural and I want you, I don't know, to succeed or something, right? Like I said earlier, maybe she's just like, yeah, maybe she's just like, I like that you have so much talent. You shouldn't waste it, I guess. But I don't know, nah, it feels too simple if she's just like, wants to help him, no, it's something, it's something more than that. She might be evil, she might be manipulating him for her own advantage, yeah. Yeah, there we go, she got some weird, you got some hentai with me? Some hentai idea, you got some weird ideas with me? Yeah, he's like, oh, I don't trust you, woman. This seems kind of weird, kind of, yeah, see, he's what I'm saying, he's like, hmm. You got some weird fet fetish for me or something, woman? Yeah, it's like, no, no, I'm just saying. See? That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of cute faces, man. Yeah, it's like, oh, here we go. Like, back. Of course, she probably is the one that reads everything online and so on. Yeah. But she clearly struggled a lot, man. It's a good episode about her life. Like, we see a lot of her, like, struggling, her rifted roles, and her growing up as a child actor. And yeah. And she's all ganky and sad at the same time. Man, she's got him adorable, though. Got him, kind of, man. Got him adorable, yeah. She's got him adorable, okay. I can really see what people like her for, yeah. She's got him, she's got him treasure, man. She's all super happy, all ganky in the shitty life, you know. She's all trying to be all happy in this, like, I don't know, depressed world or something. <laughs> it doesn't help that it's, like, raining and it's really dark and it's, like, thunderstorm or something. Like that. Uh... But yeah, she feels very like, you know, I guess she's like Genki trying to push through all the shit. She's like, if Sheikah had to go through a lot of bad shit in her life, yeah. She's like Sheikah with a bad childhood. <laughs> is that, yeah, I'm like, what's stupid, yo, yo, is that, is that a good comparison? She's like Sheikah if Sheikah had like a shitty childhood, right, you know, and was like, you know, in the bad stuff, so he comes to the sun and his weird reflection over there, yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, clearly the director, his one of his many, yeah, uh, yeah. This guy is one of his many uh, goals, right? I think he pick up his like cigarette and so on. Yeah, that also might be a way to get you know saliva or something, right? Uh, like a bunch of boy bands or whatever. Yeah, like pick up the cigarette, right? I can get some DNA from that. That's probably what it's gonna do. Yeah. So, I mean, I've seen Law and Order and so on. I've seen other cop shows. So like, he's, gonna, he's gonna pick up the the cigarette. Classic strategy, man. You pick up the cigarette, you know, and you can get um, the DNA from that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is pretty obvious. I don't, I, I, I'm a genius? No, I mean, this is pretty clear. Like, yeah, I know exactly. It's gonna pick up cigarettes. That feels like a very classic. That's how they do it in, in like, Law and Order or so, you know. In those TV shows, yeah, they pick up someone's, like, soda can or, you know, someone drinks, like, a soda can and pick it up, you know, that kind of thing, right? And then you get the saliva from the soda can or something. That's very, very common. Yeah, but he has the same clothing. He has kind of in the ending, so I see why that. Yeah, exactly. This, 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 like the where it comes from. Uh, but yeah, let's review it. Uh, Kana was super adorable, uh, super duper adorable. I'm just actually. Kanna is the Shika of Ocean and Coil, right? I feel, I think thinking about, you know, how cute she is, right? Yeah, she feels as Shika, she is like, because, 
it doesn't have some character, but I think Kana, you know, a lot of scenes, it's kind of like, she's like all angry, then like, BAM, my face, you know, it's like camera, in my face, and it's still in her face, there's like a weird line, there's like a weird face, she has a lot of how, you know, Shika is like, woo, yeah, let's do the rap battle or whatever, yeah, it feels like she's kind of like, not as crazy, maybe not as like fourth wall as Shika, she's like, let's do Miyoku and season, right, but you know, more like Shika in season one, I suppose, we were summer, yeah, because she's more fourth wall in later the year. More, she's like, you know, this, this is just completely roller coaster her emotions, and the faces it needs, do the with your hands. I feel she's, just, she's yeah, Kana is the Shika of uh, Ocean Okoi. So let's review it, right? And I feel that, yeah, I can see why people love Kana. She's very, very happy. That's because of Shika, as I said, right? She's kind of like the Shika, yeah, she can maybe get a Kana dance soon here in the ending, right? Um, but I like her, right? She kind of has to strike it as a child actor. I like how she's kind of back and forth in the roller coaster ride. How she's very angry, very salty. She, she's salty. Yeah, this one she's the most. It's like salty. Oh, that guy took my roll, oh, bitch. <laughs> yeah, she's kind of like that. And then the next, she's like, yeah, let's go, bro. <laughs> you know, she's all over the place. I like it, you know. But she definitely, as I keep saying, must for she can ride. Yeah, it's up and down. She's like, you she got me. She's like, ah, yeah, I love you. <laughs> you know, a lot like that. Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of that emotion wise, right? Um, but I like, you know, we kind of give her a backstory. And um, she kind of like a good character, you know, it's a good girl, kind of like, you know, how say it? she's fighting through kind of like a dark, groomy world, you know, she's like, oh yeah, but I gotta like get through that and I can become famous. And so she has like a lot of, you know, willpower and self-confidence, whatever, right? And yeah, I liked it, you know, and she's kind of the opposite of Aqua. Honestly, yeah, she has the contour of Aqua. Aqua is like, the world is shit and I hate it. And it's when I kill the guy, kill my mom, right? She's just like, the world is uh, is terrible, but I want to make it happy, you know what I mean? He's just like, the world is crap. <laughs> yeah. He's just kind of like, the world is going to go down and I don't care. And she's just like, the world is terrible, but I can make it brighter, you know? And she's kind of like, yeah, she kind of takes that um, approach to it, right? It kind of reminds me of, for example, um, I recently played Octopath, Octopath Traveler 2, right? Because that's a great game. I love that game, right? And in one of the storylines, Agne, uh, her storyline, she must be a dancer, right? And then it kind of goes into her, her mom and her mom's like adoptive daughter kind of thing, like her auntie in a way, whatever you call it, or big sister kind of. Yeah, more like her big sister, I suppose, you know. But whatever, and they have a lot of this, because basically it's like a medieval time, right? And everyone is, you know, these like evil lords and kings and so on, right? Uh, but her and her mom and her like big sister, right? They've all been like dancers, right? Performing on people, people. And they're like, yeah, this world is shit. It's, gro you know, it's, it's terrible, it's gloom, everyone dies, but I can make people happy with my dance moves. You know what like, I mean? I can sing. Is the one, yeah. So, kind of, kind of, yeah. I actually write a lot of that. Kind of like, yeah. Like, kind of, okay. I know the world is is terrible. How can I make the world better? You know what I mean. So she kind of has the same, how's it, realization or maybe more like a, uh, how do you call it, realistic view, I suppose, right, of the world. Kind of, kind of like Aqua, you know. They both have like, yeah, the world is terrible, right, and the world is is, is dark or whatever. They have like a similar realistic view. Uh, however, when he's just like, and it's shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like, yeah, and it's gonna stay shit. She's more like, but how can I change that, right? Yeah, so I like it. You know, she come off as, like a, as a son of uh, fresh. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so Kana is best girl, guys. Anyway, please subscribe to the like button. Uh, I'm gonna do One Piece soon here, so it's already out apparently. And then we do, of course, Mega Man, which, I mean. I know a lot of people care too much, but I love Mega Man, you know, in Yun Yun as well. I probably love Yun Yun more than Mega Man, though, yeah. And the whole last episode of Yun Yun having secret friends, that was just like the best thing ever. Yun Yun's crying, like, oh, these two girls won't be my friend, Mega Man! <laughs> Listen, that's my contract! It's hard to explain Yun Yun to the rest of the but she's like, please, like, contrary me. <laughs> Can we have a friendship contract, basically? And they're like, what a weirdo. Like, no, don't leave me! Oh, I love her. Anyway, guys, you guys have a great day.